G'day everybody, where's Swally here? Well, level earth observer Adam, the poor doofus, he's gone and done it all again, hasn't he? He went and released this video the other day, now I missed it because I had a few more important things on, but I tell you what, now that I saw Mr. Sensible have a go at it, there was one thing that I remember way, way back in the deep recesses of my brain that tells me Adam is well wrong. And it took me about 10 seconds to find it. First of all, let's just let Adam have his dope rope moment. We'll give the dope enough rope and let him hang himself. Meet the star of today's video, young Nicholas. Nicholas is not only going to flatten the spinning globe earth theory for us, but he's also going to destroy Simon Dan's physics says so argument with a practical reference. What makes this even more fun is the fact Nicholas is a huge space fan and NASA nerd. <laughs> it's not good times, is it, Dan? So Adam is all well beside himself because he thinks he has some proof here. <laughs> it's gotten pretty bad, Dan. Especially now we've got young Nicholas, one of your own, about to serve you up good and proper with a practical reference. <laughs> And this is where we join the action. Nicholas is going to give us a demonstration of his Sky Crane drone. But the only things Nicholas demonstrates here are one, how unscientific and ridiculous the spinning globe earth theory is. And two, Nicholas is going to highlight why Dan didn't cite any practicality as far as real world physical demonstrations are concerned. Remember, Dan said physics says so. But the only physicality we got from Dan was him running away. And of course, Nicholas's practical reference is highlighting why Dan ran away. Take it away, Nicholas. And it's lowering. Oh, it's getting harder to control. We got some oscillations. Already we can see the problems. The crane, the pendulum is swinging all over the shot. Bearing in mind, Nicholas's drone's not doing ludicrous speeds in all different directions. No, 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 no. He's actually trying to help you guys out here. But look how out of plumb and how much this thing is swinging. And it's not even two meters in height as far as the pendulum. So imagine this thing being a thousand foot tall. That's no good. <laughs> That's hard to control, huh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at the state. <laughs> and I'm supposed to take the spinning cannonball earth theory. Uh, seriously. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look. Look at the state of it. But the problem is, Adam, and I'm sure you read this because you're actually in the comments a little bit further down, but I'm sure you would have read Nicholas's comments on my original video a long way back five months ago when this happened. It seems Nicholas was trying to induce the swing just so he could have a bit more fun. Now Nicholas, he's a bit of a guru. He likes to play with drones and he likes to write the control software for them. So of course he was just mucking around with it. It was an educational video. And it seems Nicholas is not really a fan of Adam's thinking either. No surprises there. If you really want to have a good chuckle, pop over to that thread and have a look. And poor Adam, he's whinging and complaining about all the people. They're all mean to him. But he does it to himself, doesn't he? Yes, we know this. Well, Adam, this was a short one. Sorry you had to get ping-ponged all over again. Well, this is video number 80. What can I say? Adam, you keep, Adam, you keep stuffing up. I'm probably going to keep slapping you back down again. Let me just finish with three pendulums of demonstrable reality that agree with physics and they all say so. Because physics says so. Simon Dan wasn't wrong. First one was the cow video by, by Mr. Sensible. Now that was excellent. Very far side of you, mate. The second one is the two meter pendulum inside the plane traveling at 600 miles an hour. Adam really likes to ignore this one, but there you go. Look like 
And the third one is Sochi. It's a stringless pendulum and it's traveling at 17 and a half thousand miles per hour and barely a movement except for the air conditioning. Sorry, Adam, you're out done again. Every single practical scientific reference on this earth proves scientifically that Yellow Earth Observer is a know nothing blowhard who shouldn't be allowed around dangerous implements like teaspoons. I just showed you a practical demonstration as per your requirements. You've got a pony up, boy. Order that poster from Simon Dan, display it in your cab. and show us all you've done so. Oh, and don't forget, contact me, Adam, earn £2,600 for a charity of your choice merely by turning up and having a debate, win or lose. You're new, sucker. <laughs> Oops. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on.